when I want something to be better than what it is today, when I want my mind to feel better than what it is today, when I want my body to feel better than what it is today, when I want my relationship to feel better than what it is today, when I even want my world to be better than what it is today, who should I go to? Who should I go to? Myself. Can I change the world? No. Can I change how my body is feeling? Can I change how my relationship is today? And can I change how my mind is feeling? And if I have to go only to myself, then why do I every day keep going to other people? Why do I keep going to other people? And the more I keep going to other people, the more I am not reaching the solution, the more I am not reaching the solution, the more it is getting complex. The more it is getting complex, the more my problem is increasing, the more my problem is increasing, the more I am going to other people. And I am not going to the one who can, who can heal the problem. Why? Because I am not even sure whether it is I who can do it. Every thought I create, every thought I create, where all does it influence? What's the effect of my every thought? I just enter and I say, beautiful hall, one thought. Where all does this thought reach? One thought, simple, very pretty hall, simple thought. Where all does this thought reach? Surrounding, where else? Where else? My every thought created here, created here, where's the first place it will influence? It's not going to go out first. Created here. So where's the first place it will influence? How I feel. If I create a thought, beautiful th hall, I feel nice. If I enter and I say, what a strange hall, my feeling will change. So how I feel will depend on my first thought. If I create a thought, why did this phone ring? I'll get irritable. If I create a thought, it's okay, bhool jata hai, I'll be fine. Now, how many times is this happening in the whole day? How many times is this happening in the whole day? So we can't count. So my every thought, first place where it will influence how I feel. So anytime we say, I'm not feeling very nice today, or I'm feeling little low today, I only have to check what have I been thinking. I cannot change my feeling unless I change what I was thinking because my thought will create my feeling. So my every thought, first it affects your feeling, second your created feeling, second second Anji? Action may go. Yeah, action me to aiga. We're talking about where all is this energy reaching and it's influencing. Okay. My thought, first it will affect how I feel. Second, my every thought will radiate to my body. We don't get disturbed at all. Hmm? 
if only we can laugh like this when things are not our way when we are at home. <laughs> Why were we laughing? Hanji? So normally people get irritated when somebody's phone rings. So why were we laughing? We look, we are seeing, we are witnessing the futility of trying to control people. Every time, every program, everybody will say, please switch off your phone, please switch off your phone, please switch off your phone, please. And yet it hardly ever happens that one phone will not ring during the two hours. Is it okay if somebody's phone rings? Is it okay if someone's phone rings? Oh, it's not okay? <laughs> Why is it not okay if someone's phone rings? Why? when they were told so sweetly from the stage, so they should have put their phone on silent. Why did they not put their phone on silent? Option one. Hanji? Very interesting. So we should all keep our phones on so that if we get interesting emergency calls, then I'll have to keep one of mine also on stage. What if I get an emergency call? Huh? So why does somebody not put their phone on silent? Option one. Forget. Simple one. Forget. Two. Anje? How sweet. They might not know how to put their phone on silent. <laughs> so much compassion we have, see? We are even ready to say, I understand. You don't know how to put your phone on silent. Which is true. Everybody does not sometimes know how to put their phone on silent. So one, I forgot to put my phone on silent. Two, I don't know how to put my phone on silent. Three, three and most important, I don't want to put my phone on silent. You can stand on the stage and keep requesting whatever you want. I will do what I want in my life because finally, the other person has a choice whether to accept the advice or no. But now when the phone rings, we also have options. <laughs> like they had options, we also have options. So what are the options we have? One. <laughs> Ignore kaise karengi? Sunai to deta hai hai na? Ignore means what thought should I, we have to be very careful. This is the stimulus, what's my thought? So if the phone rings, what's the option I have? One. Ignore can never be an option. Ignore does not have a meaning. What is the meaning of ignore? You cannot not listen to the phone. And when you listen, you will create a thought. Till we practice and reach a stage where we will not create any thought. But at that time when we reach a stage where we do not create a thought, it's not that we ignored the phone, it is we accepted the phone. So what are the options when somebody's phone rings? One. Hanji? Hanji? Seize the phone and you think they're giving it to you. That's expecting even more than asking them to put the phone on silent. <laughs> when you give me your phone, why will they give it to us? Option. What are the kind of thoughts I can create when someone does something which I had asked them not to do? One. Forgive them for that. <laughs> you know something, they're not even asking for our forgiveness. <laughs> We shouldn't go so high. They've just not put their phone on silent. It is very simple. Option one. It is? Okay, we'll stare at them. Huh. So if I turn back and I stare at them, do you know what sometimes happens when we stare at people? Stare meaning we send one strong thought from inside. Oh, itna sunaya tha stage pe. Or Aj to Sanjay Bhai ne jara jada hi sunaya tha. 
<laughs> and he thought when I say it so many times like this, after this no phone will ring. So that's what he thought. So we think the more I advise people, and the more lovingly I advise people, and the more I keep requesting them, and sometimes we'll say, for my sake, don't do this, huh? please. It's not going to happen. So one option, get irritated, look at them, and stare at them. When you do that, first one, who's going to be unhappy? So my thought which I create of irritation, kyu nahi band karte? First thing, I will get irritated. Second, where will that thought go? It's going to go to my body. So phone unka vachta hai, tabiyat meri kharab hoti hai. No, it's a fact. Any illness which comes after many, many, many years, nothing has happened after many, many years. It is all these phones which rung for 20 years and every time I thought if their phone rings, obviously I will get irritated. So I kept creating irritation and I kept radiating that to my body. And I thought my irritation was normal because they forgot to put the phone they might not switch off their phone for the next 20 years, but my body will start manifesting things. So every time you want to get irritated because of what somebody else has done, please remember, unki tabiyat par kam, meri tabiyat par zada asar pad raha hai, to unke liye nahi, apne liye, unke baare mein andar chit 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 so one, we can get irritated. Second, we can be compassionate. They forgot to put off the phone. It's very simple. We will not stop loving them then. And third, we have accepted that phones ringed. So when it rings, we don't even create a single thought about it. There are a lot of things which happen around us for which we don't create thoughts. Why? Because we have accepted that these things happen. I had gone to someone's place and that brother was just got up from his meditation and he was a little angry. I said, how can you get angry after finishing your meditation? So he said, my wife always talks on the phone when I meditate. She has to understand that I need silence, but she finds that same 15 minutes to talk to her sister on the phone. I said, but you were meditating, why will you get angry? It's no point then meditate. No, but why does she have to talk on the phone in those 15 minutes only? And while he was saying that, the sabjiwala, who was on the road, was selling his sabji. I said, this person is making so much noise. He said, who? I said, this sabji wala. So he looked at me, so is he not supposed to sell his sabji? I said, yeah, but does that not disturb your meditation? He said, no, not at all. He is supposed to sell his sabji. The noise of the sabji wala is louder than the voice of the wife. But the sabji wala does not irritate me because I accept that the sabji wala will but I expect that my wife will not talk on the phone. So it is not the volume of the sabji wala or the wife which disturbs, it is my thought of acceptance or expectation which will create the disturbance. So whenever you get disturbed, if you just shift it from the column of expectation to, to acceptance, your mind will not cry after that. Hai na, easy? So ab iske baad agar kisi ka phone baja? Iske baad agar kisi ka phone baja? The actual ringtone of the phone does not trouble us. It is the thought ki kyu phone silent pe nahin kiya which troubles. Let's always be clear. The outside stimulus cannot disturb our state of mind. 
the phone only i can hear it till here it is my thought after listening to that phone that disturbs my state of mind and if my mind does not create that thought after listening to the phone i will not get disturbed so instead of staring at people and say switch off your phone i can just look at myself and say stop thinking about them बिकॉज एक को स्टेयर करेंगे दूसरे को करेंगे तीसरे को करेंगे कितनों को स्टेयर करेंगे एंड जितना स्टेयर करेंगे ना वो आपको वापस स्टेयर करके फोन पर बात भी करेंगे देखो आप सो डोंट वी ट्राई टू कंट्रोल पीपल दैट बिकम्स अ डीप डीप क्लैश ऑफ ईगो इफ वी ट्राई टू कंट्रोल पीपल सेइंग यू डू वॉट आई वॉन्ट यू टू डू सो दैट आई कैन बी एट पीस इट विल नॉट वर्क दिल से यू डू वॉट यू वॉन्ट आई डू वॉट इज राइट फॉर मी so easier is to start teaching our mind how to think when people are doing what they are doing